in explaining his call for a nationwide voter ID requirement at a rally in Florida Tuesday, President Donald Trump made the false assertion that people need a picture ID in order to buy groceries. If you go out and want to buy groceries, you need a picture on a card, you need ID, Trump claimed at a rally in Tampa for Republican gubernatorial candidates Ron DeSantis. On explaining his call for a nationwide voter ID requirement at a rally in Florida Tuesday, President Donald Trump made the false assertion that people need a picture ID in order to buy groceries. If you go out and want to buy groceries, you need a picture on a card, you need ID, Trump claimed at a rally in Tampa for Republican gubernatorial candidates Ron DeSantis. Unless someone's shopping bag includes alcohol, an ID is not required. It is not clear when Trump last shopped for his own groceries. Various reports have stated that Trump depends on the cooks in the White House kitchen for his food or otherwise dines out at restaurants at his own properties. During his campaign, Trump's diet was described by his former campaign manager Corey Lewandowski as relying heavily on fast food. On Trump Force One there were four major food groups, McDonald's Kentucky Fried Chicken, Pizza, and Diet Coke, he wrote in Let Trump Be Trump. Earlier this year, White House physician Ronnie Jackson said Trump needed to lose 10 to 15 pounds and recommended a diet lower in fat and carbohydrates. Moments before Trump's false claim about needing an ID to buy groceries, he made a pitch for a nationwide voter ID requirement. We believe that only American citizens should vote in American elections, which is why the time has come for voter id like everything else, he said. He also claimed that in some states, Democrats are even trying to give illegal immigrants the right to vote. They want to give them the right to vote. There has been no major push to allow undocumented immigrants to vote, and a majority of Democrats have voiced disapproval of such an idea. A photo ID is currently required to vote in 17 states, including Florida. A further 17 require some other form of ID. After losing the popular vote to Hillary Clinton in the 2016 election, Trump claimed without evidence that 3-5 million people voted illegally. There has been no evidence of widespread voter fraud. Despite this, Trump set up a voter fraud panel only to disband it months later. The push to require stricter voter ID laws has been criticized as a way to suppress the vote of racial and ethnic minorities, which have less access to photo IDs. Voter ID laws have expanded significantly in the past decade and research has found that it has reduced the vote of minorities and tipped the outcomes of elections to the right.